um welcome back to my channel um so today's video is going to be something that i've just kind of wanted to sit down and film very very casual like for you guys which is why i'm kind of just sitting in my living room amelia is playing around like so if you hear all kinds of sounds and noises it's because she's playing with her diapers <laughs> so yeah i just kind of wanted to be very very candid i guess and just chill and sit and film a video simply just talking to you guys um so today i just kind of wanted to touch on um motherhood i guess and you know the ups and downs and how it's changed me as a person because i know that some people some people have children and they don't change at all and they're just completely the same as they always been um, and some people change, have children and their life gets completely switched all around and they're like completely new and different people. Yeah, I just wanted to sit it and talk about that and like kind of the challenges that I've been facing since I've become a mother. Um, so I don't even know, like where should I even start with this? So first I kind of want to tell you guys the biggest challenges of being a mother and that for me would just kind of be the overwhelming feeling of always having to watch over someone, make sure they're okay, make sure they're fed, make sure they're changed. And I know that comes with motherhood, obviously. So don't, don't, you know, don't get on me yet. I know that that comes with motherhood and I knew that that came with motherhood before I got pregnant. I mean, it's common sense. But you don't understand it, like you don't really get it until it's here and it hits you and you're actually taking care of a child 24 7 non-stop all day long all around the clock sorry about that guys my fiance called me about something but yeah i guess it's just kind of you don't know what it really is until it hits you and it's here and you have to you know buck up and be a mother um so that has definitely been one of the biggest things that have you know I don't know it's just been one of the biggest like surprises I guess not really a surprise but an overwhelming feeling also I have had no time to myself like I rarely get time to myself and that's kind of another thing that I didn't expect would be like so realistic like people say oh once you have a baby once you have kids you're gonna have no life i literally have no life outside of amelia the little time that i do get by myself <laughs> i don't even know what to do with it because i haven't had time to myself like this in so so long and it's just so weird like i don't know it's just the weirdest thing ever like that you literally have no time to yourself yeah babe can you guys see it right there so weird that you just have no time to yourself ever um and when you do want to do something you have to like schedule plan ask someone to babysit it's just so much that goes behind actually wanting to do something without your kid that that is kind of like amazing to me and <laughs> it's all just like so such a reality check once you do have the baby and you're like dang like these people that these people that were talking all that shit when you were pregnant and before you had a kid were not lying like they were being 100% real with you about everything and you honestly don't expect it until it's here so that's another thing I didn't want to touch on something that I didn't really talk about too much on my channel um, especially when I did the postpartum video I wanted to do it in that video but then I realized that I just completely left it out so I guess I'll talk about it now um, when I had Amelia I was severely severely depressed after I had her and it was just because of a number of things like I felt so tired all the time I was breastfeeding and if you've never breastfed Oh, you have no idea but it is no are you standing up by yourself <laughs> she's standing up by herself and she's putting plastic in her mouth give me that you don't put that in your mouth 
anyway, <laughs> breastfeeding is like the hardest thing you will ever do as a mother, um, especially in the very, very beginning because you don't really know what you're doing, especially if it's your first kid. You don't really know what you're doing. You don't really know your baby's feeding patterns. You don't really know like if you're giving them enough milk, if you're giving them too much. And it's just the most frustrating and hard thing that I've ever had to do. I think as a mom so far, it's, that's been like the hardest thing that I ever did. Um, but I don't breastfeed anymore. I stopped breastfeeding at three months. But that's not the reason why. I didn't stop because it was hard. But that's for another video. But um, I was so depressed because I was breastfeeding and I was up literally every hour in the night. Amelia was never wanted to sleep by herself. Since she was born, she didn't want to sleep by herself. And so she wouldn't stay asleep in the crib. So I had to hold her and I was really nervous and scared because I didn't want to like hurt her in the night and it was just so much anxiety, so much panic, so much paranoia and it was just so crazy and hard to deal with and I was so depressed. I was so sad, I never wanted to go anywhere and once Wilfredo went back to work, I would cry through the day. It was really, really hard and I mean, now that I'm adjusted to it, I love being a mother. I don't take anything that comes with being a mother for granted. It doesn't bother me at all. Being a mom and doing what I have to do to be a good mom and to make sure Amelia has everything, that is not an issue for me. I'm just talking about things that I know that some others go through but just don't talk about because they don't want people to look at them differently. Honestly, I don't care how anyone looks at me because at the end of the day, I know that I'm a good mother. But, you know, being a mom is not easy and it's okay to talk about it and it's okay to, you know, admit that it's not yeah. easy to be a mom. It's okay to admit that. That's kind of why I'm making this video also. Just to let people know, like, it's, it's okay. Like, it's really okay to talk about shit. I think another one of the, like, worst parts um, of motherhood is, like, the unsolicited advice that you're always constantly getting from people that you didn't literally, you literally didn't even ask them. And they always want to throw something at you. Oh, you should do this, or you should buy her this, or you should get her this, or she should be eating this, or she should not be having a schedule. That is the biggest thing that I've heard, that babies don't need a schedule. I don't care what anyone says. Babies can get on a schedule, and they it's the best thing ever. It's the e It will make your life ten times easier. Amelia was on a schedule as soon as she was two months old or three months old, she was on a set schedule, a feeding schedule, a sleeping schedule, a napping schedule. Everything was beautiful when she was on a schedule. My life was so much easier, especially at that point I was going back to work. So she was going to bed at the same time that I was going to bed so I didn't have to worry about being up all night with her. And oh, like that is the worst thing ever. You don't wanna be up all night with a baby when you have to work. So getting them on a schedule is very important. And I'll be damned if I let anyone tell me that I don't need to put my baby on a schedule because you're not the one that wakes up in the middle of the night for the baby. I am. So if I want to put my baby on a schedule, I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's like another big challenge of being a mother is like, or being a parent in general, is taking people's unsolicited advice. It's the most frustrating and annoying thing that I have ever, ever, ever been through. I can't stand it when other people try to tell me how to be a mom or tell me how to do things. I just, that's my biggest pet peeve. Even even outside of motherhood, I literally can't stand when people try to tell me what to do with my life and my choices. It's just, it's just not my thing. That's the one way to get me really, really agitated. Another thing that I really wanted to talk about that I feel like some people don't really like to talk about or touch on is like, I feel, sometimes I just feel like my fiance is extremely lucky to not have to be home all day taking care of the baby. And I said something the other day that like, I couldn't believe that I said, but it's like, I can't wait until I go back to work so that I don't have to be home all day. And it's one of the weirdest things that I've ever said and I never imagined that I would ever say it, but when you're a parent, I feel like, Every, anything is possible and it could be very possible to want to go back to work just to you know have some time away from home because yeah work is a responsibility but it's also a place where you can get some social life in you know just get away from home and home life and be your own person I guess so that was something really weird that I said the other day and I can't I just can't even believe I even said something like that but that yeah I kind of envy my fiance right now because he works all day 
and you know he has a social life even though he doesn't really care for the people at work that much I mean they're, they're not really his I wouldn't consider anyone he goes to work with as like one of his good good friends but I mean he has a social life and he's able to get out of the house even if he's going to work he's you know leaving the house and I kind of envy him sometimes and yeah I just think that's really weird and kind of funny and kind of ironic like you know <laughs> I don't know I, this video is literally so all over the place but I don't know I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I've been feeling about motherhood so far babies are really a lot of work and I honestly do believe if you're not ready to have a kid then you shouldn't have one and you should be taking precautions to not have one because it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and not everyone is meant to be a parent honestly not everyone is meant to be a parent sometimes I'm really like depressed and sad about not being a mother but just like the position that I'm in but I'm so blessed what mom so yeah guys like I mean that's just kind of how it is from a real perspective. I mean, honestly, that's just how it's been for me personally. Not everyone is the same, of course. I'm not saying that all mothers and parents feel this way, but this is just how I've been feeling. And yeah, I wanted to like get that on video. And just kind of vent, I guess, because it's nice to vent about stuff from time to time. So this is little Melia now. I know you guys haven't seen her since three month update I think that's the last time I did a baby month baby update she is a big girl now <laughs> she is almost eight months she'll be eight months this month and she is just crazy she doesn't even want to be in this video so I'm just gonna stay her there she's just crazy and all over the place and she's getting to be so much to handle and I guess that comes with the age and it's only gonna get worse as soon as she starts to learn how to walk gonna be completely over with but I think I'm just gonna cut this video here because I kind of ran out of stuff to talk about I don't really know what to talk about anymore um I pretty much covered everything thank you guys so much for sitting here and just listening to me talk um, because it's been very therapeutic for me hopefully you guys can get some therapy out of this too you know if you've been feeling the same or if you've been having some thoughts like this kind of a reassurance that it's okay to you know feel that way sometimes it's okay I'm just gonna end that one there thank you guys so much for watching once again don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching and also subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week also don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts I do have those all listed and linked down below in the description box and yeah that's gonna be it for this one and i will see you guys next time bye